Welcome to Genesis Learning everybody. I'm your trainer Noel and today is going to be a very very interesting topic. You see for many candidates the IELTS essay is always a big thing that is hindering or an obstacle to achieving that great score or an overall good score for the IELTS. If you are also one of those candidates who is struggling with the IELTS writing then you need some guidance and today you have come to the right place. In today's video I'm going to teach some simple phrases or some word groups that can actually be used in your essay mostly in your task 2. Let's start learning. All right so welcome back. The IELTS writing exam as you know is marked on four different criteria okay the first one is your task achievement the second one is your coherence and cohesion the third is lexical resource and the fourth and the final one is grammar you see each of them got a good contribution they all contribute 25 percent each to the overall score I'm just going to talk specifically about the coherence and cohesion how you can achieve it well you just need to use a variety of different phrases to link one idea to the next one so that the reader can follow what you are actually thinking clear on that brilliant so let's start with what are the different phrases that can be used if you are trying to express an opinion okay that something that you want is your personal opinion then you can use one of these particular phrases first one is you can use i think or i feel or i believe that the second one that you can use is personally i feel that okay or you can also use as far as i am concerned these three are good but personally i think the next one that i'm going to give is even better it is from my point of view now why i like this better is for the majority of your writing you should avoid that i in your sentence too much of i did that i did this i think that i believe is also not good however there is quite a bit of a debate on that and i prefer to actually go for that last one because it talks about my personal opinion but it doesn't actually use that word i okay now let's move on to the next one say suppose you want to do some comparison okay you want to compare or contrast two different ideas then you can use different words like however okay or you can use in contrast da, 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 by comparison Da, 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 da. Okay, one example sentence like you can do is however he is also a very talented football player that's it okay so you can use these phrases like however in contrast by comparison meanwhile and the most famous and easiest one on the other hand any of these can be used to compare and contrast ideas what if you want to uh, use some addition words addition words means if you want to add some additional information to a particular sentence then you can use different words like moreover or furthermore or in addition or additionally or likewise or on top of that anything can be used let me give you an example sentence you can say he is a good football player full stop in addition he is also a good singer i'm adding more information to that same sentence the next is if you want to use examples okay remember you have to give examples for your ielts writing task two it's a part of the question so if you want to provide that example to back up your idea in the writing 
then you can use these following phrases. For example, for instance, such as, a very good example is, the best example is. Now, these are some good phrases that you can use. Let me give you an example. You can say something like, for example, CFC gas has drastically increased the temperature worldwide. For example, or for instance, any of these can be used. The next would be to conclude. Usually for your task two, that last paragraph is going to be a conclusion paragraph. And some of the best ways that you can start that paragraph or you can actually conclude any of the other paragraphs would be by using the following phrases. To summarize, in conclusion, lastly, finally, and to conclude with. You can use any of these particular phrases. So that's all for today. And if you want to learn anything more from us on the different shortcuts to cracking your IELTS exam, then we are there to help you transform your life and also give you a fantastic coaching. All you have to do is log on to our website, check out the different packages and sign up with us. You can also get in touch with us through our contact form in the comment section right below. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button. And if you would love to join our YouTube community, then all you have to do is subscribe to our channel. Feel free to share this video with your friends if you found it informative and try to help someone else in their studies. Till we meet again, this is your tutor, Noel, wishing you a fantastic week ahead. Ciao.